Have you ever considered how easy it is to become distracted while witnessing? You know, I think this is particularly a pitfall when Christians witness to Mormons. Let me give you a couple of examples. Some try to discredit Mormon scriptures. They emphasize irreconcilable differences. Now, while you might get someone to question something, most Mormons we encounter aren't particularly bothered by this. Think about it. If, for example, an atheist tried to take different portions of the Bible out of context, pit them against each other, would you listen? Probably not, because they don't have credibility in the Bible. This approach is often just a distraction. Now, another approach is to try to discredit the institution of Mormonism, the LDS Church. Here, individuals may highlight the gospel topic essays on LDS.org. They might try to then shine a light on some of the more difficult aspects of either Mormon history or demonstrate that many of the more exotic teachings of Mormonism, things that are often downplayed because they can't be reconciled with Christianity, are in fact true Mormon teaching. Now, this might lead to denial or shock. It might even lead some to leave Mormonism. But friends, if it's not accompanied by sharing the gospel, well, then how will they ever come to know the true message of Christ? Our, our goal isn't to get them out of Mormonism into atheism. Our goal is to help them to see who Jesus is and all he's done for them. And that's why it's so important to keep the main thing the main thing. Instead of focusing on symptoms, it's critical to address the underlying cause. You see, every false teaching is ultimately rooted in the distorted understanding of sin and grace, law and gospel. So make that central message your core focus. Help Mormons, first of all, see how serious the problem of sin really is. No one is good, not even one. All our righteous acts are like filthy rags. Whoever keeps the whole law yet stumbles at just one point is guilty of breaking all of it. We're dead in sin, not good, guilty. The more they see how desperate the problem is, the more they'll realize why the only solution could come from God himself. Jesus didn't come to be our example. He's our substitute. He said, it is finished. He won full forgiveness, has given salvation, standing on his perfect record, why we are certain we will live eternally with Heavenly Father. And when you keep the main thing, the main thing here, it does a few things. First, it goes to the core of the issue and it focuses on the message they need to hear most. Second, it points every time to Christ as a solution. You're never gonna come away saying, well, I should have mentioned Jesus more because why he's gonna be your focus. And third, it gets them into the word where the Spirit shows up every time. This approach emphasizes God's power rather than your persuasion, which in the end is where the power belongs. And it's freeing to you. So as you witness to Mormons, keep the main thing the main thing. Friends, go give them heaven. Mm -hmm.